six dollars what it is hello and welcome to wandering wanda we are in ohio and how much were these tickets uh, 66 dollars round trip 36 for the vehicle and 15 dollars per adult person round trip and we we are headed to Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial. It's in the book, so we're going there. And this is, what is this, Lake Erie? I don't know what lake we're in, <laughs> but it's very choppy today. Walter's mumbling. Oh, hi, I love my husband. <laughs> if this thing goes down, we're dead. But hi, I love you. One of the adventures I live with my husband. Risking life regularly. Victory and International Peace Memorial. And there's a touristy little street down here. Adorable. So we're gonna walk around. But first we're gonna go get our stamp and stick it. I'm a little bit seasick right now. So this nice breeze is actually nice. We brought our jackets today because it's 68 degrees. It's it's cold. Oh, I think it's colder than 68. I think it's colder than 68. We're out. We're in the middle of the Erie, Lake Erie. I think it's Lake Erie. We don't know where we're at. Okay, this took place in the War of 1812 against Britain and apparently the battle was won by Perry which secured Lake Erie. that you find in Key West, but this one is for Canada. Canadian border is five miles away from here. That way. And Key West, 1,205. It says that? Oh yeah, yeah, look at that, it says that. Okay. We're walking around the island with our milkshakes. Walter has chocolate and I have vanilla. National Park, you have to get on a ferry and it's about three miles and we're moving this slowly and it's rocking really bad right now. We're almost there. I'm getting a little bit seasick. Ariel gets seasick on the jungle boat at Disneyland. So, this is a lot for him. This is, I'm, I'm trying to remain calm, looking at the horizon. <laughs> Just in case. At the far back. <laughs> oh. Good morning. Today we are over here in Perrysburg, Iowa, at Tuffy's Automotive and Repair getting an oil change and also something I did that was really stupid <laughs> I was putting in windshield wiper fluid in the truck 
and the way they have it set up is when you're looking at the truck on the right side is where you put the windshield wiper fluid however on the same panel that's also yellow on the left side the passenger side is where you put the radiator fluid in so not even thinking or looking at it I knew it was a yellow cap and I put windshield wiper fluid in the radiator fluid area so we're also having a radiator flush <laughs> done today also so again my fault didn't look at the little diagram and that's what we're doing this morning after that we're just doing regular grocery shopping Tuffy automotive service got the truck done well changed and radiator fluid flushed good job oh and they did it within about an hour and 20 minutes so I didn't have to wait too long we are here in Northwood Iowa it's south of Toledo having dentistry work I broke a crown about two weeks ago eating eating and I thought it was a bone it wasn't it was one of my crowns so for two weeks I didn't really have a tooth in that little area just a little stub so we are here for a while and we were able to do emergency dental work here thank you Ronnie for recommending this dentist and Walter got a deep cleaning it's very important to make sure that you've got good dental care so that's what we're doing today here in Iowa and the trees have started turning fall colors we woke up this morning and it was about 40 degrees so the weather is telling us that we need to start heading south again it's gonna be in the 40s and high 30s every evening this, this week so in about a week and a half we will be heading back south uh, today well actually for the past 10 days we have been here at Toledo East Stony Ridge KOA it's a really nice park it's nice and clean that's what I like about it it's clean the, uh, the proprietors have done a good job keeping the trash out of the campsites uh, they do have I don't know how many sites here but it's a nice place to stay when you're in East Toledo it's right off the highway so it's an easy in and out of the highway highway I think it's 80 it's a toll road it runs through Iowa no wait no not Iowa Ohio okay so would I stay here again oh most definitely yes I would stay here again in fact we'll be here two years two years in two years hopefully when we do the um, when we do the Newfoundland tour with fantasy RV tours so it's a good campground the wash there's washer and dryers it's open 24 hours it's 250 to dry and 250 to wash the water is well water so there is a bit of a sulfur smell which is fine it's drinkable you can wash with it you the rigs absolutely fine as most well waters are just make sure you've got a filter on the outside and you'll be okay. all right here we are at site 602 as you can see it's a very nice RV park because look how far the next RV site is <laughs> not amazing and these are the pull throughs Okay, the thing with this park though is you got to make sure your sewer is lined up <laughs> because our hose is a 15 foot hose so the sewer is kind of it's it's a distance away but it's long enough for a 15 foot hose 50 30 amps water's water pressure is good and the internet the internet is wonderful here they do reset it occasionally during the day but you know what just sign on again the internet is wonderful <laughs> and
and it's a nice distance to the next RV with with all the trees. You get a concrete patio, and it's a nice and it will accommodate a very long rig. So we're parked in front, and then look at look at all the space we still have. <laughs> this is. This can accommodate two trailers. Hi, thank you for watching. Bye.